Hey guys, welcome to Master Gaming VR. We are taking a look at Sophie's Guardian. We just uh, went through the intro that starts up as soon as you start the game. Um, we have a couple of options here. The sound is rather loud. Hopefully that doesn't come in as loud on the recording. Um, so we can go through the intro again. Um, a VR madness. Yeah, credits there. So, not too bad. Some beastly looking claws here. Uh, a mound of corpses. Alright, so Sophie's Guardian, local gunslinger. So we've got some high scores there. Gunslinger modes, uh, puppeteer modes, uh, guardian mods. Mods, not modes, mods. Um, so this game is uh, fully moddable, uh, supports all kinds of mods. Uh, I don't know how many mods there are out there or where to find mods at the moment, but we'll go ahead and look and see if we can find anything. So I'm guessing that this is just going to be the regular gameplay. We were very tiny. Doesn't appear to be any reloading. Oh. Creepy sounds. The, uh, the weapons feel really good. The angle is just right for me, at least. Let's see, is that our uh, health right there? The audio, the positional audio is pretty good. It's really easy to tell where they're coming from. It looked like we had some sort of uh, damage indicator pop up, but I didn't really get a chance to explore it too much. We've two ended. Oh good, we have crawlers. So slowly introducing new mechanics, which is cool. I don't think babies are supposed to stand like that. Now that I don't have to worry about reloading. Akuma health is down to half. I think there were 10 waves and I'm already down to half health. Need a wave or a rotation counter here. I uh, hear scraping. I really like these.
Yeah, so the, the pistols feel really good. It's pretty fast paced and hectic. They spawn really close. I died. Wave five. All right. How do I back? Okay, is this gonna take me out? Good. All right, so guardian mods. Gunslinger mods. We are in the same place. Hopefully this is some different gameplay. Doesn't look like it. Oh, return to menu. Okay. Uh, puppeteer mods. I don't have any mods installed, like I said earlier, so maybe that is the problem. It's just putting me into the regular game. Um, so, does this not have anything? I'm confused. My cat just touched me, and I look down. Okay. Am I looking for something? None of the other buttons do anything. Grip buttons, trackpad, just the triggers. Okay, well, I am thinking that I'm either too dumb to know what is going on here, or I'm just missing uh, a mod for this, and it has started something that is just an empty project, basically. This room doesn't look like something that a child should be staying in. Just throwing that out there. This looks like something out of Silent Hill. All right, we'll go back to the menu. There doesn't appear to be any way to download and pull mods directly into the game from within the game. Yeah. So I wonder if the puppeteer mod is a... Actually, let me, let me try the puppeteer mode again because there is a weird interface on the PC. Maybe that's two-player mode. So if I come out here, let's see. Okay, there we go. So puppeteer mode is two player mode. So I move around with the arrow keys on the right hand side of the screen and then, oh, there are the controls right down there, A or space to spawn at all. And you can only have so many dolls spawned at once. I'm just going to kill myself here. Okay, so that's cool. A way to get two players into the game. Not bad. We're going to jump back into the main menu 
Let's take a look at. Was there any options over here for Gunslinger? Gunslinger. I don't know what the difference between Gunslinger and the other one is. Let's go ahead and play through. Uh, well, we immediately have all the enemies, so there's one difference. No, well, we've got the crawlers and the babies. We don't have the... Uh, Drummer, drummer guys? I don't know what they are. Nutcracker guys? Something... Oh! Okay, so we do have the drummer guys. They're like, die, die, die! Do, 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 do. Um. Oh, that's why. MG. All right, we'll just go with that. Question mark. MG question mark. Sure. Why not? All right. How do I continue? I guess number thirty global. I guess that's not bad. Number one local. How do I get out of this menu? Hmm. Well then. No. Oh, okay. I just went away. Alright. That is the base uh, Sophie's Guardian game. Uh, I would like to see um, some more mods. I think I'll do some research on where to find some of those. Uh, the guns really felt good. The angle is just right, in my opinion. Um, when you just point and shoot, it, the rounds go exactly where you want them to. Uh, I kind of like the, the big bear hands. Um, health meter, I like the way that they did the, the health meter. Uh, it's nice and obvious. I like the puppeteer mode. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I would say it's worth a try. Uh, if you like getting into modding, you like to download mods, um, we'll have to see what's out there and what the support is. But uh, if there is enough support, I'd say this is worth a, a pickup. Um, let's see, can we, I don't remember if you guys can see this right here, but let's see if we can jump into the store really quick and see. Um, Use store page. That's what we want. All right. So Sophie's Guardian is 8.99 for the base game. That's pretty high. 
the value is going to come from the mods. So we'll have to see where uh, where the mods come from and if there uh, is enough mod support to warrant that price. I will drop some links into the description below for where you can find mods and see uh, if it ends up being worth it for you. Anyways, I don't know if you guys can see the Steam page I'm looking at. Like I said, I will link that in the description. But uh, if you enjoyed this, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know if uh, you have any favorite Sophie's Guardian mods uh, or what you think about modding VR. Till then, I will see you guys in the next video. There's no exit button, is there? Sigh.